Hi, second graders. Mrs. Shook again with our grade two skills. We're on unit one, lesson 17, spelling alternatives and tricky words. Our learning goals for today, reading and spelling words with the letter sounds J, spelled J, G, E, excuse me, and V, spelled V, E, and we'll look more into that in a minute. Reading tricky words, what, where, why, and from. Reading a given text and answering questions about the story. And then rearranging scrambled sentences to create a complete sentence with the proper capitalization and punctuation. Okay, first we have J, as in fringe. At the end, you hear the J sound. Sometimes, if you look at the power bar, it's very small. Sometimes, it will be spelled G-E. So if you see G-E at the end of a word, it might have the J sound. So we'll add that to our chart. G-E at the end of a word, fringe. And we have 12 at the end. You hear the V sound. Um, very, very small power bar, but sometimes if you see a V-E at the end of a word, it might be spelled V, sound like V. Add that to our charts. So all of our spellings for the V sound, most of the time it will be a single V. Sometimes you'll see a V-E. Okay, <clears throat> this is one of the sheets you have for an assignment. Um, looking at our sounds, so we have the J sound and the V sound. We've looked at a couple different ways to make each sound. Um, and the assignment is to look at the word they give you and figure out what letter or set of letters is making that sound. So this word is jumping. When we say jumping, say it. Good. Jumping. Do you hear the J? The beginning, the middle, or the end? Jumping. Good. I hear it at the beginning too. There it is. It's the J. The J is making that J sound. Okay. Next word, magic. Where do we hear the J sound in? Magic. Beginning, middle, or end? Magic. Yeah, I hear it in the middle too. What letter might be making that sound? And if you remember, we learned that sometimes the G can make a J sound. So, magic. The G. All right. Our next word. Plunge. Plunge. Yes, it's at the end. J is at the end. And we just talked about how, what two letters can make the J sound. Very good. G-E. And our last word. Lunge. Lunge. Just like plunge, it is the G-E at the end. Very good. Okay, now moving over to the V sound. Our first word, vast. Do we hear it in the beginning, the middle, or the end? Vast. Good, the beginning, and it is with what letter? Yes, letter V. Very good. Our next word, 12. Shouldn't we just practice 12? Beginning, middle, or end? Yes, the end. And what, in this case, what two letters are making the V sound in 12? Very good, the V E. All right. Our next word shelves. Shelves. Do we hear the beginning, the middle, or the end? Shelves. Yeah, kind of at the end. What two letters are making the V, v sound this time? Very good. The V-E again. And our last word for our practice, having. Having. Beginning, middle, or end. Having. Yes, in the middle. And what letter is making the V sound this time? Great job, the V. Okay, you're going to have this sheet to finish in your assignments. Um, we just did the first eight words together, so you can do the same thing. You're going to read the word, figure out what part of that word is making the letter sound you're looking for, whether it's j or v, and then you're going to circle that letter or set of letters. Okay, great job. All right, our new tricky words for today. What? If we were to spell it, we know that wh makes the w sound. A normal A sound is A, 
Wet? Wet is your favorite color? No, that A is a tricky sound. It's making an uh sound. What? What is your favorite color? This one. If I was to sound it out with our letter sounds, what a er a what a er a. Hmm. No, we see that these double E's are tricky. The word is where. The ending is making an air sound. Where is the cat? Where's my book? Where is my pencil? Our next word, w I. This Y is making an I sound. Why? Why is the door open? If you're asking a question, why? Our next word, fr um, from? Mm -mm. This O is making a U sound. Fr um. This present is from us. From. All right. Now we're going to practice making our sentences back in order. So I'm going to give you a sentence that's all jumbled up. Um, and we're going to put it back in order. When we think of a sentence, we know all sentences have to have a few things. There's words involved. There's a capital letter and a punctuation. The capital letter goes where in the sentence? The beginning, the middle, or the end? Yes, the capital letter goes in the beginning, so the word with a capital letter goes in the beginning. The punctuation goes where? The middle or the end? Yes, the punctuation goes at the end. So that's one of our clues to help putting our sentence back together. The other clue is just reading the words and trying to figure out how they make sense. So the words here, ham was, question mark, the where. Ham was the where. What would be our first word in our sentence? Remember, using the clue, if you need to, of the capital letter. Very good. Where is our first word? Where? All right. Where? What could come next? Okay, let's add our punctuation. And then we told we said that goes at the end. Very good. So we know we're asking a question. Where blank? All right, where ham, where was, or where the? Where was? Where was what? Where was ham the? Where was the ham? Yes, where was the ham? Great job. We put our capital letter in the beginning, a punctuation at the end, and we just organized the rest of the letters to where they made sense. All right, one more. To the its pan stuck. To the its pan stuck. Our first word is going to be what? Looking for that capital letter. Good job. It. It stuck. It stuck where? It stuck to, it stuck the, or it stuck pan. It stuck to, it stuck to what? The pan. And our period goes at the end. Great job. You will have in your Google form a few of these to practice on your own. Our reading for today, let me just move my little head down a little farther. We are again reading in the Cat Bandit book. This time we are reading a story called The Fish. Our purpose for reading, predict what the story might be about based on the title of the story and the Cat Bandit's previous antics. Antics are the things he's been doing. He's been kind of getting into a little, not really mischief, but causing a little trouble, doing some silly things that cats don't normally do. Um, so let's predict what might happen in this story. Looking at our table of contents, here's the fish. If we follow the line over, it would be on page 22. Okay, our cat bandit chart. We have um, the hot dog, the chicken nugget, the snack mix, which we've already done. Adding the ham, which was our last story. This time he stole the ham. It was in the big black pan on the stove. 
He got it by sticking a magnet on the end of a belt, swinging the belt, hitting the pan, sticking to it, sticking it to it. Our sound words were clang and munch. Okay, the vocabulary for this story. Lenses. Clear pieces of glass or plastic used in glasses and other tools to change the way things looked. So, for example, the lenses in her eyeglasses help her to see more clearly. I have glasses. These are the lenses, the parts that I look through. Um, glinted. Give off flashes of bright light. Example, the diamond in her ring glinted in the sunlight. So if something's... Um, has a, the light hits like a ring and might shine off some light. Sayings and phrases, quick as a flash, to do something very quickly. Example, he ran out of the door quick as a flash to catch the school bus. So he was zooming out the door, going super fast. All right, and another review of our previously learned vocab or um, punctuation. We have a period, we have a an exclamation point, and... A question mark. Which one is used to ask questions? Question mark. Good. Which one is used when we're just telling somebody something? Good. The period. And which one shows excitement? Good. The exclamation point. All right. Our new punctuation for today is the comma. A comma in a sentence means to take a tiny break when reading. So commas are not found at the beginning. They're not found at the end. They are found in the middle of a sentence. Um, they, when you're reading and you find a comma, it's a you take a little break. When you're reading with a punctuation, you stop. So if my sentence said, the dog is brown, period at the end of brown, I stop. But I'm saying, my dog is silly, comma, fast, and yellow, I would pause at all of those commas. So, for example, then, rip. If I didn't have the comma, I would say then rip, but with the comma, then rip. There's a slight pause, or munch, munch, munch. You can hear a little break as I read. All right, we're going to read the fish today. Let's look for our punctuation, periods, question marks, exclamation points, and commas. All right, see the picture? The cat is already eyeing that fish hanging. The fish. Once mom hung a fish up on a string. The cat bandit was scratching himself when he got a whiff of the fish. Remember from the last time, whiff is a smell. So he's always able to smell the food. <clears throat> Quick as a flash, so super fast, he ran into the kitchen. The bandit spotted the fish hanging on the string. He sat down to think up a plan to get the fish. Okay. I wonder what his plan's going to be. The cat bandit ran and got mom's glasses. He set the glasses on a bench that was in the sun. The sun shone on the two lenses of the glasses. The lenses glinted in the sun. The bandit slid the glasses a bit to the left. He slid the glasses until one of the lenses sent hot sun flashing onto the string. Then he sat. So in the picture, you can see the sun coming in the window, hitting the glasses, and he moved the glasses just right so the sun that was, the sunlight was glinting off the glasses, and it hit the light coming off the glasses was hitting the string, and it was it was hot from the sun. So I wonder what's going to happen. He's got the sun reflecting, hitting the lens, hitting the string, and it's hot. Hmm. What do you think might happen? Let's find out. Okay. The sun from the glasses shone on the string. The string got hot. The wax on the string melted. Then, look, there's our comma. Then, rip. The fish fell. Then, munch, munch, munch. That was the end of the fish. Did anyone guess that right? Did you guess that the sunlight 
reflecting on the string was going to break the string and melted the string and the string broke. The fish fell and the cat got to enjoy another meal. Okay, Google Forms Unit 1, Lesson 17. You're going to answer a few questions about the story. You're going to um, put a few sentences back in the correct order. And that is all. Great work today, guys. Good job, and remember to do your assignments. Bye.